Hello and welcome to the Impact Zone Podcast. We are back once more to talk more TNA wrestling shenanigans. And we are on the road to Turning Point. And, well, (laughs) we've found out something interesting about the upcoming world title match, which has been announced... So Nick Nemeth will take on Eddie Edwards uh, in that, uh, at that time. Now this, I believe that this, uh, I believe that this is uh, the one that is happening at, um, at Wrestlecade. Yes, that is it. We, this is taking place at Wrestlecade. So yes, there's going to be a lot to be going on at Wrestlecade, I believe, because there can be a lot of crossover between, uh, I would say, more minor promotions, more indie promotions, but there could be some crossover between AAA or New Japan, potentially. I don't think that uh, there's anything wrong with that, certainly. Um... This is off the bat of Eddie Edwards pinning Nick Nemeth in that recent tag team match on Impact last week. Um, So that does make a a fair bit of sense there. And uh, uh, Nemeth is uh, facing uh, Brian Myers, I believe, next week on TV. Um, So yeah, there is that. Uh, Also, shockingly, out out of sort of nowhere in some... Way Moose is now the X Division champion. Um, I have the distinct feeling ish that you know Bailey is going to be challenging Moose at some point for a rematch. I don't know when, don't know where. I don't think it could happen at Turning Point, but I don't know. It feels like he's got this feud now with Trent Seven. Um, and whatnot, so I, I don't know, you know, like, it's, it's interesting, um, you start looking at, like, where some of these things are, are like, stories and, and, and whatnot are, are going, what's happening with them, um, where they're at, um, you know, that, that sort of thing, I, I feel like, the Josh Alexander and Steve Macklin story isn't really over. They're going to have a uh, six-man tag there next week between Gresham, um, uh, uh, <laughs> Gresham, um, um, Macklin, and Eric Young versus the Northern Armory. So obviously that that's going to be leading into another match between between the two. At some point, I kind of feel like it should be at final resolution, but I don't know. I kind of want to have plans there for Josh, I guess. But uh, I'll talk about that in another episode here that will be coming up at some point soon. Uh, but then again, you could have both, I, I guess. But still, like, eh, I don't know. Um, but yes, it, it, it does give you that, like... Like, what is going on here? You've just seen Santana facing up against AJ Francis. Um, So maybe that's happening at Turning Point. Um, Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, It's interesting to try to place everyone and place them into a position where they would be... Um you know, what are they doing? What? Why are they doing this? Or what's, you know, what's the direction for them? Um, you know, you start looking at what Rosemary's going to do, um, you know, because it feels like she's starting to try to build towards a knockouts title match at some point. So, like, I don't know what we talked about too much about this, but Savannah Evans has returned, um, and it, feels like she's going to be in that same sort of picture. Um, Spitfire obviously going up against Ash and Heather by Elegance um, at some point in the not-too-distant uh, future. It does feel like, like I don't know, like, is Grace and Slamovich going to have another match, another 
one there or are they going to go and do something else um since the hardys haven't been on tv yet i can't really figure out exactly where they're gonna go from here and what they're gonna do but it's it's like there's not that there's not that many teams to start with and there's not that many teams that are in that upper echelon especially heel teams apart from the system and even then it's like well <laughs> i don't know um so but yeah you've got to look at it from a perspective of well we might have to wait we might have to wait and see where some of this stuff goes i i do have have noticed this so in the last couple of episodes that they've either played matches that we haven't seen before or like replays of certain matches and whatnot um perhaps that was because of um ace and bay getting or well bay getting injured and them having matches in those slots or or some or segments in those slots and them not really knowing what else to do um but to try to um you know fill that slot with something and therefore it's like well you know what what else can you do you gotta have something um but yeah i do want to say moose and, and bailey oof oof that was that was some spice you know so um but then again it's just starting to think like it, moose won the tna title moose has won the um you know the grand championship or whatever it was called i forget what it was called now um and now he's won the x division title so he's a triple crown winner like in tna now you know i don't know what what number of triple crown he is but he's now a triple crown champion he hasn't won the tag team titles um oh he actually won the uh digital media title so he was already a triple triple crown champion wasn't he yeah there you go but now he's he's on the path to becoming a grand slam champion which is pretty darn crazy uh as well so uh but yeah I, I, like I want to get back to um, the uh, match between Nemeth and Edwards. I guess um, fortunately or unfortunately, whatever you want to think is well. I, I think Nemeth and and uh, Edwards is probably not a big drawing match. Now that could be good. Because you could say, well, that's not the main event. The main event is going to be something else. Could be Marsha versus somebody. I don't think that you could get Marsha and somebody unless it's Jordan uh, as the main event. Um, so there's that. You could have the Hardys um, as the main event against someone. Again, I don't really think you could have someone unless it's um you know the uh the um the system and then it'd have to be a stipulation match of some some description um it's it, the digital media title is like one of those titles that are, that i think it's a good idea but it's just like it always feels like you know a very late afterthought in a lot of this stuff it never seems like there's enough time for for everything and the same feels like for like the women's tag team titles even though that they're sort of you know uh you know they're doing the best they can with 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 what they've got those ladies in in that area but um and some of them are developing quite well as wrestlers uh that uh you know uh, on screen uh, abilities of and whatnot so yeah it's certainly one of those things but um it's interesting to think that um you know where are we at and where are we going or whatever is um you know you know you've got one and a half of the tag team champions at turning point facing nick nemeth so it's like well already you know the system can't be facing um the hardies at turning point because it's like well one half of the team is facing 
you know, the world champion at that at that event. Maybe at Final Resolution, maybe at Genesis, I don't know. It's difficult to say, isn't it? But, um, yeah, it, like, I do think that this is, is a very tough situation to be in at, at times because it's like, you know, like, when you're the baby face and you've conquered most of the heels and in, in you've only done it in, like, a few weeks, and there's, like, a lot of the more, quote-unquote, fodder um, heels, like, floating around and farting around, it's like, well, that doesn't really lead to anything great or anything good for that for that baby face as well, but it also doesn't lead to anything good for, for the company. You really need somebody to take those reins that, you know, and I think Nemeth is a bit of a draw, certainly, in some sense, um, you know, um, because people know him from WWE and want to see what he's doing to some extent, so, and he's a bit, sort of a big name, so it's like, well, yeah, sure, you know, um, you know, so, we, you know, it's it's really tough when you've got these, B pay-per-views or whatever you want to call them, C, D, E, F, X, Y, Z, whatever, I don't care. But again, it's difficult when you've got these B pay-per-views and, like, this will be a good match, I'm sure, but just there's no real, or not nearly enough stakes, certainly, in this match from my perspective as a person that, you know, understands wrestling and, and, and the perception of of this feud or this match or whatever or anything it's like there's nothing nothing here really like you know we know Nemesis is going to win this one like and maybe that was a mistake i don't know it's tough to say because it's like well where are you going and and where are all the big time heels that he needs to overcome that you know would draw people's interest and it's like it's tough to have these again you know, maybe it's all right if you have something else more major planned for the show and it's going to come out and it's going to, you know, be like, oh, man, they've got this, you know, match or this thing going into the into the show. But then again, it's like, yeah, maybe Trent Seven and Bailey's like the best thing going in there at the moment. So, But it's going to be tough and hard to say that there isn't anything else, but certainly it's going to be very hard to because, like... Santana versus uh, AJ Francis, like, uh, like from a story perspective, maybe it's all right ish, but um, from a perspective of um, wrestling, like what will hap happen in the ring, uh, probably, and we probably know that Santana's probably winning because it's like well why would you give him a big win at bound for glory and then just make him lose or or whatever it's like yeah tough i don't know but yeah it's it's interesting um to try to start thinking about where things are at but it's just like you know we really need a bit more bit more build here um but i guess like it, i feel like it's there's a slow burn here perhaps of um thoughts going into genesis uh we really haven't talked much about it since it was announced um so but still it's just one of those things that's uh well there's not much to say is there until until it's a lot closer until we're almost at the end of the year um the same with final resolution it's like oh until turning point is over it's like there's no point in even really thinking about it because it's like yeah it's there and it exists but you know where things are going at that point is like you know very tough very tough to um figure out like that far in advance like you know without you know at least a couple of weeks worth of tv just just, just read the angles and read you know, the room a little bit and start going, okay, well, where are we at? What's going on? What's next for some of these people? And, uh, you know, you look at, there's so many wrestlers there. Sammy Callahan, Gresha. There's so many wrestlers there. And it's like, these guys, they're not really doing a whole lot, you know, or whatever. And it's like, 
you know, I don't know, it, like, you hope for the best for some of these guys is, and, and whatnot, but it's like, I get it, there's only so many hours and so many minutes and so many things in, uh, that you can, um, you know, work with at, at what part, so, yeah, it, it's, it's tough, you know, um, so I, I don't know, but, uh, yeah, so it's, it's, I guess we knew that this match was probably going to happen between Nemeth and, and Edwards, um, but yeah, it, I don't know. It, it would be really nice, you know, to kind of, I, I don't know, put, uh, put something else out there or to, to really go in another direction and to to really get the ball rolling and have a lot of you know people being really invested in it, you know like because they are invested in some ways obviously but I think that they were more interested in the the Joe Hendry um, fight you know like so now you've got to give them something else to really really tune in for and if joe hendry is fighting the uh ryan nemeth next week well where's that leading like what what's what's next for him he's he can't be facing nick nemeth again so well, at least for a while so it's like well is he going to be facing jbl at some point or some you know it's like well i don't know i don't think that that's legit because it's like well you know late is layfield even wrestling you know, like, or is he just there to do a clothesline spot? You know, like, what's what's going on? You know, um, kind of um, pretty tough, uh, I don't know, sit, set of situations. But uh, I don't know. I feel like there's, um, there's going to be a bit of change going on. Or potentials for change going on um, with uh, the pres even with the presidential situation and the politics in America. I don't want to talk too much about that stuff uh, really here at all. And I know some people that are over there and whatnot are certainly, you know, <laughs> wrestling as a sort of say is like a very minor thing sometimes. But it's that form of entertainment. There's that form of thing that sometimes helps you get by in your life and take your mind off the things that are you know really bad but it's like well it is an expense and um i think times are going to get tough uh in over there and um i don't know whether there's going to be much point in touring over there um far too far into the future uh, and whatnot, but it does depend on the situation of what's going on and whatnot, but, or at least, you know, downsizing or whatever, but, or just maybe making the prices, especially for the more B shows or just the TV tapings a bit cheaper or whatever else it is, only charging the big bucks for the big shows, like, that will make a big difference. I do think that they do some of that already, but just knowing that, hey, people can't really afford that much you know that or saying you know what we just have to go to canada because otherwise you know um you know are we actually going to get crowds here in the u.s can people here afford it you know or whatever not just from the standpoint of well do people actually want you know i think people do want to get out and say oh, okay take my mind off of my real life for a few minutes certainly or whatever but in saying that can they afford to do so it's going to be a uh, a tough set of circumstances, I think, over there for a little while. So, um, you know, I do think that they need to take that somewhat into consideration. And, um, yeah, we'll have to wait and see how we go. But, um, yeah, I, I, like, I'm waiting to see what else is kind of going to be on this card. And maybe they'll have a few surprise things there for us. Um which wouldn't be too bad, but I don't love it when, you know, it's like no real promotion of these things on these shows. It's like, oh man, you know, it's like, what's going on? You know, like when somebody just turns up, it's like, 
Oh, okay. Unless it's somebody really major, it's like, you know, sort of wet fart, you know, um, to an extent. But it can work sometimes, but yeah, it can also backfire. But uh, anyway, guys, yeah, I just wanted to come on here and have a bit of a discussion about uh, this, uh, about Turning Point upcoming. We've got to get ready for, for that uh, and... Uh, I'm sure there's other stuff happening at WrestleCade and whatnot as well. So um, lots to see and, and do there. So, uh, yeah, I think the t uh, turning point is one of the things that I think it kicks off WrestleCade or effectively ref kicks it off. So, uh, you know, they'll have, a I think it's the full weekend worth of uh, wrestling and shenanigans. So if you're uh, going to be in that area, it's going to be quite a show i think and uh i'm pretty sure the hardies will be there uh, to um because it's in north carolina i believe so um yeah uh but yeah guys hope you've enjoyed this one hope you join me again in another one